to my channel. So today we are doing my October favorites. I haven't done a beauty favorites monthly video since May. I did a summer must-haves and a fall must-haves, but I haven't done like a monthly favorites what I've been loving beauty-wise in since May. So that is what we are doing today. I have two skincare things and then a bunch of makeup. So without any further ado, let's get into my monthly favorites for the month of October. Let's go. Just want to say in advance, none of this is sponsored. I feel like a lot of people that do favorites videos now just do them to incorporate something that's sponsored, which like no hate. I know you got to pay your bills, but none of these are sponsored. Just letting you know. So this is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Face Wash. Uh, I've now gone through this much of my second one and then I went through a full bottle in September, October. My skin was absolutely freaking out. Um, if you watch my videos throughout the month, you will see or have seen that my acne has been at its worst, that it's been in probably my like young adult life. I ended up doing a lot of things to switch it, to switch it, to make it better. But these two things definitely, definitely helped. I hope that if my skin gets to where I would like it to be, I will do a full updated skincare routine, non-sponsored. In the meantime, this is the face wash that I've been using. This along with the moisturizer that I'm going to show you guys has changed the current feeling of my skin and I watched so many recommendations videos on YouTube, read so many reviews, videos from dermatologists, all of that on like the best gentle moisturizer and face wash for acne from the drugstore. This is a salicylic acid acne treatment and then it has like aloe leaf extract, it has some flower extract, citric extract. This was highly highly rated by a lot of the dermatologists videos that I was watching and I have absolutely been loving it. I use this once a day with like a very thorough wash after I take off my makeup at night and then I just do like a little splash of water in the mornings but I do a deep cleanse with this at night. Yes, this is like my holy grail in September and October. This is the CeraVe PM Facial Lotion. They have an AM one, which is awesome because it has SPF in it, but from what I can tell, the AM one doesn't have a lot of the good things that the PM one has, so dermatologists were saying in general they recommend the PM over the AM, and then you can use it with additional SPF. The PM one helps to replenish your skin's natural protective moisture barrier, and the active ingredients are ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is something that I always look for in my moisturizers because I have very dry skin. And then niacinamide is an ingredient that a lot of the dermatologists were recommending for acne prone skin and then also for drier skin. This isn't for acne. This is just a nice gentle moisturizing moisturizer and I really like it. I put this on after I wash my face with the Neutrogena wash and then I will add a serum or something because it isn't super heavy which I kind of like and then I do use this before my primer for my makeup on the daily so I use it a.m. and p.m. those are my two skincare saviors for September October I will link everything down below these are incredible next I have primer these primers are both amazing on their own but I have been really really loving mixing them together so I'm going to include them together but I do like using them on their own as well so we have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Um, I do have a review on the Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer up on my channel. I will link that as well in the iCard. Um, it didn't do great probably because so many people were reviewing this product. I also did just order the new Pretty Fresh Concealer today. I'm going to do a review on that and I am going to be doing a full face color pop this month sometime, so stay tuned for that, lots of plugs. And then the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Cannabis Sativa Oil Seed Primer. Lots of long names in there. But this one is super moisturizing with hyaluronic acid as the active ingredient, which we just talked about that I really love for my dry skin. And then the Bear With Me primer is a radiance primer, so it has like a glow property to it, but it is also nice and smoothing and hydrating, I find. So that there is the ColourPop primer, the Pretty Fresh one, and then this is the NYX primer, 
and then I like mixing them together and then that is what it looks like. It's just like the most hydrating, smoothing, brightening, glowy base and I've been loving it. So if you have both or if you have one or the other or you've been wanting to try either, they're good and they're really good mixed together. Now I have three foundations, which is a lot for me, but again, I'm going to be getting more into complexion in general because now I'm wearing foundation to work when I go to work and like doing full glam when I go to work because now I work at Sephora and that is the expectation and I love that. So the first one we have is another mixture. I am a huge makeup mixture gal. I just love getting like the best of both worlds of different foundations. So this is what I've been wearing to every shift at Sephora so far I'm pretty sure and it has looked incredible every day. This is also what I'm wearing today mixed together. We have the Makeup Revolution Hydrate and Conceal Radiance Foundation in F1. Technically supposed to be neutral, I believe, but it oxidizes a much more cool toned on my skin. But I love the finish and I love the coverage I get with this. Then I've been mixing it with my Dior Backstage Foundation in 0N. This one also claims to be neutral, but you can even tell through the bottle here. This one is much more warm than the Makeup Revolution. So if you have this and you love it, I love this mainly for the coverage. The Dior Backstage, I love, love this foundation in general, but this is much more low coverage. So mixing them together, I get like my perfect foundation. Neither of these are very dewy or luminous, but I like having more of my dewy luminosity in my primer. Actually, I've been using like these four together for the majority of the month and my skin looks pretty good, I must say. I used this combo today, these four, and I've just been like very happy with them. This is a lower end drugstore product. This is a higher end Sephora product. But honestly, if you love this one for the coverage and you need something a little warmer, I'm sure any warm, based foundation would do, but I really, really do like the Dior one, so. Not every foundation is gonna work well mixed together, but those two really do. I mix them like on a mixing pan before I even put them on my face, so I don't just do like one and one. I mix them together before I put them on my face, and I've been loving it. My next foundation that I have is one that I have most definitely mentioned on my channel before. If you were to ask me my holy grail foundation, this would be in line with the makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick, and this is the Hourglass Vanish Cream something foundation. This is also a foundation stick. I've had this for like two years now, I think, maybe a year and a half, and I still have, this isn't even all the way rolled up, I still have a really good amount left. I use it a decent amount, and this is in the shade Cream, in case you are curious. The finish on this foundation is gorgeous. The coverage is gorgeous. This to me is more of a no-nonsense goof proof, like super easy to use foundation because I kind of can forgo concealer with this if I want to. I can use this on my full coverage days, but I can also use this on days where I want like not necessarily a lighter coverage, but I just don't want to spend as much time doing my makeup. I take this, put it directly on my face, get a buffing brush, buff it in, and my face looks flawless. I find this works best with a really hydrating base. It's a little heavy if I don't hydrate well, but pretty much always hydrate well before my makeup because I know that's what my skin needs. This foundation is where it's at. It's super, super good. This is a complete rediscovery in my own collection. I hadn't been reaching for this for months. I've probably had this in my collection for a decent amount of time now. For whatever reason, I just started reaching for it again, mainly to cover um, all of my pimples and acne situation. I don't use this under my eyes. I'm sure it would be fine under my eyes. So for spot concealing purposes, the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, mine is in Chantilly Light One. You can even see like how much I've used this month. I feel very similarly about this concealer as I do to the Hourglass Foundation. The coverage is incredible. The blendability is incredible. I think the Hourglass foundation works really, really nicely with this. Works beautifully on its own if you just want to spot conceal and don't want to use it over foundation. As long as you moisturize, because it is a little bit 
thicker, higher coverage kind of situation. As a spot concealing concealer, this is like the best that I've ever tried. I've tried a lot of pot concealers. I think I've just come to terms with the fact that my under eye concealer isn't necessarily made to conceal my spots in the same way. They're not gonna work perfectly for both. So I've gotten into the habit of using a different concealer for my face to conceal acne, which is this one. And then I've been switching up my under eye concealer and then like my highlighting concealer. But for spot concealing, the NARS concealer is where it's at. The next product that I have is kind of complexion, kind of not. Actually, I guess it is. This is the e.l.f. blending sponge. Every brand has like a different name. I was into the beauty blender for years. I was into the Real Techniques sponge for years after that. And then at a recent trip to Walmart, I believe, I saw this, decided to pick it up because I've been really into cleaning my brushes this month. I wanted to have beauty blenders or beauty sponges that I was able to rotate if one was dirty so that I could always have a clean sponge. I did use this to bake my under eye powder today so that's why it looks like that. It cleans super super nicely. I just use Dove bar soap to clean all of my sponges and brushes. It works really well and it's super inexpensive. I've never found a beauty sponge that's as cheap as this, that is as good as this. This one um, applies powder better than the Real Techniques sponge. That's something that I've noticed. It clings more. I found the Real Techniques one. I don't know. The Real Techniques one, the orange one, didn't apply powder great. So I will link this down below. I've seen some other people talking about this on YouTube this month. I don't think that it is super new, but it is new to me and I have been absolutely loving it for the last month and a half probably two months, honestly. This has been my go-to beauty sponge at the moment. Then the last product that I have to talk about is a eyeshadow palette. This is one that I used in my recent drugstore testing video. I will link that up above. I'm planning to do another one of those soon because I've seen a lot of new drugstore announcements trickle through on trend mode. Speaking of trend mode and new releases, the last product that I had to share was made in collaboration with trend mode. And this is the Milani Gilded Desires eyeshadow palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. Looking at it at first, I wasn't super drawn to it, but when I went to the States, I saw it in person and I knew I needed to have it. I've done probably four or five looks with this so far, mostly neutrals. I did a pinkier look. I did like a more classic bronze look. I did a matte look with these three. They're just really good shadows. I'd never tried Milani shadows before and I was super super or am super super impressed with this palette. Those are all of my October favorites. Mostly my September October favorites. I would love to do these like every two to three months and not leave a huge break like May to November again. I don't like doing them every month because I don't use product enough to get a good idea of new product that I've been liking every month and I'm a creature of habit somewhat so when I find stuff I like, I like continuing to use it. So hopefully every like two to three months I will be posting a new favorites video. So definitely like this if you liked this video so that I know that you want to see more favorites videos. That is everything that I have for you guys today. As always, thank you so so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely awesome day.